so today is going to be a little bit different because as you know i moved i bought a house my very first house um it was a huge upgrade from where we were living we had been renting a spot for 10 years and um it was only a two bed one and a half bath so me and my three kids were sharing rooms like me and my son shared slept in the same bed and then my girls had a bunk bed in their room so it's a really really tiny place but it did its, it did its job for what we needed to save money and get ahead and get out of debt um all those years that's pretty much what i did um just lived really low got everything cheap and you know stayed home didn't do anything no traveling and we were able to kind of qualify well not kind of we were able to finally qualify for a house um but anyhow i'm gonna give you a quick tour um this is the garage it's like a one big door but like two cars could fit but the sucky thing i found out last night was that my car does not fit in here i think if they moved the water tank and furnace it could fit but um i have a nissan armada like the older models those things are huge like i knew it was big but i didn't know it was that big and <laughs> so um mine's like the 2008 version and so it just i think the bumpers are too big on it or something it just doesn't fit so i was disappointed because it's the first time my car has ever spent the night outside ever since i bought it in like 2015. so i'm a little bummed about that anyhow i was glad these um the garage came with shelves looks like they left some paint up there and stuff but i was glad it came with shelves because we didn't have a lot of space for shipping we were shipping in my living room which i think was like 10 by 11 I don't know, 10 by 12 feet. It was a small living room, you guys. So if you see all these black bins, I actually had this shelf that was like five feet tall maybe, and it was double-sided where you could hang these shelves on it, and it had rollers where you can just roll the shelf and pack stuff you needed um, and then put it back. So that's how these bins were all able to fit. They were on a double-sided rolling shelf in my tiny living room. So I had all this stuff in a tiny living room, you guys. Like all this stuff I was shipping to you guys. Well, I have more stuff at the old house. We haven't. We just got the keys um, like at night on 9-10. So we're still moving stuff. But like a lot of this product was all in my tiny little living room. You couldn't see the floor. We couldn't sit down or do anything. But yeah, we're going to organize this, bring more of the stuff over. This is the garage. It looks like the previous um owner or seller left this fridge which is perfect because i always wanted a deep freezer for like emergencies and stuff and even though it's not a deep freezer it's a whole fridge so um we should be good the house did come with like um wired i guess pre-wired generator or something hookup so that was kind of cool if we ever have a power outage it also came with ac which is really rare to find a house like that in washington because it doesn't get that hot like that. So we do, I, I do have AC built in, which is kind of nice. I don't know how to use it. I don't know if I ever will, but I have it. All right, now we are walking in. It's my hula hoop. Um, this is the laundry room. I've never had a sink. Um, so that's kind of cool. This is just, the cabinet for that this is like an old system that they had um this is the washer and dryer i'm gonna get rid of these eventually um whatever i'm super excited for them now but the amount you know if you have kids the amount of laundry you have is ridiculous and i don't know if the camera shows this to you but it is super tiny it's probably the tiniest um washing machine that i've seen there's barely any space in there so i feel like i'd be washing all day um to catch up but i'm thankful it came with something so we can wash all right so up here this is the hardwood floor well, i mean not the hardwood floor sorry it does have a hardwood floor which is exciting though because um maybe we have a chance of keeping it nicer than with carpet there is carpet though in the house but my kids messed up my other carpet so yeah, I'm excited to have a little bit of hardwood to save. So this is the front door. This is like a little um, closet to hang up stuff, I guess, when people walk in. This is the living room. Um, 
So there's that. There's a gas fireplace. You guys, I'm not used to a gas fireplace. Um, my other place didn't even have a fireplace or garbage disposal, it had nothing. So um, when the inspector came and was using it, I found out like you just hit a switch pretty much to turn it on. <laughs> And I was like, oh, but it's not like a real fireplace. Cause I'm like, can you burn anything in it? And he's like, no, no, like don't do that. So, <laughs> cause I'm used to like, as a kid, helping my parents light the fires, go get the wood. And sometimes we'd burn paper or something in our fireplace. Um, so technically with a gas fireplace, I guess you can't do that. <laughs> Learn something new. There's another fireplace in here. This is the family room. This place does have a lot of, um, I'm gonna talk about this couch in a second. This place has a lot of lights, not lights, windows. I think there's like over 25 windows in here in just random places. So we're in the kitchen. Well, I messed up in the family room. This is the kitchen. We just bought that stool last night at Fred Meyer, like the grocery store. They have cool furniture sometimes, so. That's the cool thing. We got two of them. The other one's in the car. We bought this one on display and got a discount. So that was a blessing. Um, my other kitchen, you guys, was small. It was probably from that window to maybe um, right where this chair is. Um, like just a little box. It was really tiny. And so I didn't have any counter space. Um, I only had just the fridge, the stove, this tiny little counter where you would put your appliances. And maybe like four cabinets or something. Um, I don't know. Was there one, two, three, four? Yeah, there was four cabinets. So, and they were small. So I didn't have a lot of space. This is a gas stove, you guys. I've never used gas appliances. So it'll be new. Pray for me. <laughs> this is a fun little window, which is kind of cool. Um, this is an island. I've never had a kitchen island, even growing up as a kid. So... It's fun to have all this space. I don't know what to do with it for us. Um, it's a blessing. Never had a double door fridge before. I've just had the standard old school white one. This is our little thing. What is that, like a food pantry or storage closet? Um, I'm not going to go outside. The yard's kind of small outside, but I'm glad that it is. If you see all the that it's fenced off which is nice and there's like um on the side you go to the side of the house i love that palm tree <laughs> right there there's one in the front yard too it came with the gas grill let me see if i can move over here there, oh you can't see it there's like another long piece where you can like i guess prepare your meat and do stuff i don't know what that thing is over there i don't know if that's like a bar area or i don't know what that is <laughs> Um, oh, so I'm going to talk about this couch. This couch, there's, sec there's more sectional to it. There's like a corner piece, um, an end piece with an armrest, and a chase. It was this big sectional. It was given to me by my sister and her husband a couple years ago. And they had cut the back of it. I forgot why they said they did or was it an accident. So, But you never noticed it because at our old place, it was up against the wall. So you never noticed it. But now, because this is an open like setting it's not against the wall. Um, I don't like that cut there. Um, plus the couch is super dirty. We didn't realize how dirty it was until we um, brought it here and it had lighting. You're probably not gonna see it on camera. I'm gonna keep the lights and stuff off for that reason, but you might see some of the spots. It's super dirty. I was gonna get it cleaned. The other pieces are really dirty. It's gonna get it cleaned and fixed, but I don't know. I don't really like it to be honest. Um, or whatever and like I said the other pieces are really bad um whatever they might have another tear somewhere and stuff and other stains so it's been it's been in the family because my sister had it for several years and then handed it off to us but if you have kids you know they don't keep stuff nice so um yeah I'm gonna get rid of it I'm just waiting to get something I'm not in a rush this is the dining area I've never had a dining room before um like a separate because we're gonna put a table over there in that corner by that window but um i've never had a dining area before so this is some little curtains my mom brought over from her house to try to 
help me uh, cover that window. I be walking around looking crazy sometimes. Um, or like, I'll take off my wig and walk around. I didn't want to scare the neighbors, so we're going to cover that for now. This is the guest bathroom. This is cool for us too. The heaters like blend in with the hardwood. That's new to us, so sorry. <laughs> We're not fancy people, so it's cool. This is the stairs. It's a way bigger, nicer stair set than what I had at the duplex I was living at. Um, they're steep though. I'm taking off my shoes. Even though that made no sense. I should have took off my shoes earlier. Right here is the master bedroom. Um, this is mine. Let me see. All right, this is the air mattress we just got the other night. This is my room. I kid you not, this room is bigger than my living room. Way bigger than my living room that I had. So it's a blessing. This is my little guy. You can't see him even the closet it's nice never had a double door room I've always had tiny rooms this is the bathroom make sure nothing crazy is in there so I'm out of breath going up the stairs you guys <laughs> but this is the bathroom I've never had my own bathroom not even like when I had an apartment, I never had a master. So I'm excited. I have a little, I don't know if these are called skylights or something. I don't know, but I've always wanted one of these. So there's the bathroom, the toilet, shower. Yeah, I've never, honestly, even when it's growing up with my parents, they've never had a master. Well, in an apartment one time they had a master, but it wasn't big. It was just like a little mini bathroom. It's like a three quarter. So. Even my parents have never had a mass bedroom or five piece, double sinks or anything. So it's new for all of us. And they're still in our childhood house. So next room, this is Chloe's room. Chloe is my eighth grader. She's 13, she'll be 14 in January. This will be her room. I think she picked it. She said window placement is everything to her. Um, Okay, I don't want to open this, but it's going to give you the same view or better as the um, downstairs for the backyard. I think she liked looking at the tree, and I think you might be able to see over some people's fences. And she wanted to look out there. This is the cool part, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. Next to us is like a water plant or something. It belongs to the city, so I have no neighbors on this side. There's an electrical fence and like a big walkway. So yeah, I have no neighbors. I'm excited about that because I'm more of a private person. This is her little closet. So yeah. Um, this is like a little, I don't know if it's like a linen closet or something. We just slapped our, not slapped, we threw our printer in there real quick until we figure it out. We have nothing. We're like kind of starting new. So a lot of the stuff was older or broken. I mean, you're at a place for 10 years with kids that are young. Things get broken and damaged. This is my son's room, Noah. The little guy you saw sleeping in my little air mattress. He's never had his own room before. So I was excited. Oh, the reason why he's in my room is because he was scared. <laughs> he was scared to sleep by himself tonight. It was our first night sleeping in here at the house. So he was scared. He's never had his own room or slept away from me, so he was uh, scared, so he slept with me. Down here is my oldest daughter's room. Her name's Kamaria. She's in ninth grade, high schooler this year. So she's on the floor. We couldn't find any air mattresses around that could get delivered to us in time. Um, and the beds that they wanted were out of stock. Um, her room is really cool, it has a bolted ceiling. I'm giving her my, um, what do you call this? My vanity. So remember I said I was into makeup and stuff and I had like that Ikea, Alex drawer set up, glossy tabletop. Um, this is my vanity, but I'm gonna give it to her. Um, so whenever, 
you know, she's kind of, she's high school now, ninth grade, so she's ready to uh, not wear makeup because I'm not doing that, but ready to take care of her skin and stuff, so, and do her hair. So it'd be cool. She has a double door too, which is cool. Her room's actually big. It's like long, kind of. So this is the view if you were standing um, in her room down the hall. That's my door. Um, Noah's door, a closet, and Chloe's on the edge. This is the other bathroom. I just found these cute bathroom decorations. Hold on. Okay, so it's, I think it's Snoopy, or is that Charlie, or whatever. They're at Bed Bath & Beyond um, here, so it's like a fall thing. Um, I'm not going to show the mirrors, but it's a long mirror. There's little towels. Got a little window. Toilet. And that, we got to take off the things. We just got these the other day, so... The kids just put it up and let them decorate and feel a part of the process because they were excited. Um, and this is our little towel closet, which is new to us because we didn't really have one. We had like a little towel linen closet in the hallway, but it was mostly blankets in there. Um, and it was like a small area. I like that this is inside the bathroom, so we're not like taking a shower and like, hey, you can give me a towel, you know, to dry off. So that's kind of cool. They got a tub. I'm excited for them because our tub was really old. Um, the place was really old and so it just looked like, um, I don't know what that stuff is called, the white little sealant stuff that they put. Um, and even like the, I don't know if this is like a shower liner thing. It was just all old and like some of it was brown and the tub was super small so I never wanted to take a bath. I just bought this curve hook, I'm going to put it in here to replace that but yeah they never wanted to take a bath or anything because everything is just old and yucky so they're excited to be able to um you know have a sink um or like a double sink for them to both be in there some days to brush their teeth and do their hair they can take a bath now i can take a bath now um so yeah but that pretty much sums up everything it's gonna take us a while to get settled we're starting fresh with everything. My son, I was able to talk to his dad into buying a bed. Um, so that was kind of nice. He sent me some money towards it. So I ordered my son's bed. He'll be here in the next couple days. But the girls, their beds are out of stock right now. And then I don't know what I want for my bed. So we're just kind of hanging out until we get something. But yeah, oh, here's a little. Here's a better view of the backyard. See? So yeah, it's a little bit better view. I like these shades. This is new to me. Gotta replace them. So that one's kind of messed up. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I like the lighting. All of the rooms and like hallways and everything have these kind of lights, which is so helpful because usually we're having to buy lamps, um, and they get broken over time, knocked over, or they just don't match with stuff. So yeah, all of the light, well, I guess this room doesn't. I thought this room did. Maybe it's my room. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm learning, learning something new. I like how that vent is up there though. Especially for my son, so that he doesn't put anything in the heater. Does hers have lighting? Oh, I guess maybe it's just my room and all of downstairs has a special lighting. And all um... Yeah, maybe it's just that. Whatever, because they're up here and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little tour. I want to let you know that um, I'll be uh, restocking everything. Um, hopefully this week. I think the stuff comes in Tuesday. I will let you guys know when I do. I'll always do a video or make a post on Instagram for you guys. Um, I'll also be doing a sale fairly soon, if not today, um, just for some stuff. So stay on the lookout for that. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to tune out of here. Oh, my nail table and all my nail supplies are not set up yet, obviously. I think I'm going to put them downstairs in the living room in the corner. 
or in the garage. So I'll have a new place where I'll be recording. But I have to figure it out. So, yeah. We'll, we'll put it together, but I apologize for the delays um, or if anything has come up. Rest assured that I'm going to get to it. I think we got through a lot of emails the other day. Um, a few that were just left. I had action on, so we got them finished. But I think there's like a few more. So maybe like two or three more emails I got to get through. But I think we should be all good. Whatever with everything. So yeah, I'm going to restock this week. That's the most important update. I am in the process of moving, setting up and stuff. So work with me on time but we'll be back to normal pretty soon you guys thank you so much for your support as always I appreciate you guys I'm so glad I got to share this journey or blessing with you um for my first place I'm so excited my first house um this is my third place I've ever lived I've lived in an apartment I've lived in a duplex and I always said my third place was hopefully going to be a house and so here I am true blessing I'm excited I'm still taking it all in but um, I might have to do a, um, a video and show you guys my other place so you see what I'm talking about, where I come from, <laughs> and why I'm so excited. But yeah, um, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Have an awesome week, um, and yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>